Hi, everyone. Happy last week of the course, week seven. I'm sure you've been anxious for this week, uh, both fearing that it would come too soon, but also just glad that it's finally here. And I hope that you know that it, it should be an easier week. You are, uh, you know, you're done with your Iliad and Pilgrim's Progress reading. And so you've taken your last quiz last week. Uh, you basically just have discussion board posts and your final draft of the Culpa. Uh, I want to make sure that you are able to get feedback. I've given you opportunities to finish the body of your Culpa. That was, you know, last week the, on Thursday, what you turned in. And then you were basically turning in the whole paper on Saturday night. I'm going to go through your Culpa uh, as carefully as I can. I'm going to give you comments within Blackboard on in, within the box uh, editing system. And so hopefully you'll be able to see those. There'll be highlighted areas and you just click on the highlighted area and you should be able to see the comment. Uh, so I will be giving you as much feedback as I possibly can and hopefully that will help you fine tune. A couple of pointers that I just want to say right now regarding the Culpa. Number one, Look at it as a whole. Every paragraph in your culpa should somehow be pointing back to your thesis statement. And don't forget the introduction and, and the structure of that introduction. You know, that I'm, I'm going to be a stickler about that second to last sentence being the thesis that you created at the beginning of the course or a very close revision of that showing the contrast between worldviews. And the last sentence of the introduction, the last sentence of that first paragraph should be a clear list of topics that you are going to explore. And so those two things are still non-negotiable. And I hope that you'll talk to me if you're confused in any way. It, it, it gives me some sort of a foothold as I'm making my way through your paper. And that continues with transitions, transitional expressions. Google them. Find a list of transitional expressions. I don't think you can have too many uh, of course, you could have too many if you used them every other sentence, but I think what you are going to discover is you make assumptions as an author. And sometimes it's okay, but I would say uh, err on the side of being too clear with your transitions. It, it's so much more refreshing for me as I read through a paper to see transitions. So you've got that due uh, on Saturday, and that's the end of our course. And I want to just alert you, too, to the fact that the uh, course survey will be uh, launched within Blackboard. You should get a not notification of that. And please fill in that uh, survey. We, we always need your feedback to know how to make the courses better. I'm going to have a specific survey on Monday night that I also ask you to give me goes through a different mechanism. It's just a Google form. So on Monday night, we do meet regular time, six to eight, and we'll finish up everything we need to finish up. And it'll be a time for you to be able to ask your questions. So we'll take significant time to answer your questions and hopefully make you feel comfortable as we, as we finish out and uh, go through this last week. So um, remember your discussion boards are critical in there, your bread and butter, you wanna get those points. If there's anything that you've missed over the course, please talk to me about getting it in. I would really like you to turn in everything and have at least a shot at some credit for those assignments. God bless your week and I am praying for you as you enter this final stage.